Hi guys, Miss Burgess again. All right, I want you to go to your bag. I want you to grab this book, A Hungry Puppy. All right, just pause your video and then come back and we'll get started with our sight words. All right, let's start with our first word. All right, let's see who's behind the paper today. What's my word? Some. My next sight word. Away. And my last word, went. Very good. All right, repeat after me. Ready? Some. Away. Went. Very good. All right, make sure that you're practicing over your sight words every day. All right, today we're going to read the story called a hungry puppy. In this story, there's a sweet puppy who's so hungry, she just keeps looking for some food, and um, and she's just eating up everybody's food in the story. So let's just kind of just walk and just do a picture walk of our story, a hungry puppy, okay? All right, here's the little puppy right here. And the puppy is so hungry, and it says, woof, woof, said the little puppy, I am hungry. Puppy says they're hungry. Look on this page. It says, Look, said the little puppy. Here is some food. Here is some food for me. All right, so here's the puppies eating the food. And then Rosie, uh oh. Go away, said Rosie. This is my food. The little puppy went away. All right, so the little puppy finds another bowl of food. Look, said the little puppy, here is some food. Here is some food for me. Here comes Bella. Remember with Bella and Rosie, Rosie has the pink collar and Bella has the purple one. So here's Bella. Bella says, go away, said Bella. This is my food. The little puppy went away. So look at the puppy. The puppy looks so sad. And here on this page it says, the little puppy cried. Okay, so the puppy's crying because he's hungry. He cried and cried and cried. And then Rosie and Bella, they say, okay, said Bella and Rosie, here is some food for you. And the little puppy says, oh, thank you, said the little puppy. Okay. All right, so when you go back, I want you to read this story. Um, the, um, a hungry puppy, and I want you to make sure that when you are reading quotations, I want you to make sure that you're talking like the puppy looks at the little puppy. Here is some food. Here is some food for me. Okay, make sure that you are reading um, like you're talking like you're the little puppy. All right, go ahead and read that, and then we'll come back and answer some questions, okay? Just push pause on your video, and we'll come back and answer questions. All right, guys, what happened? What are the important things that happened in our story today? All right, yes, there was a little puppy in our story, and she was hungry, okay? And then what did she start doing? She was eating out of everybody's bowl. She had a Rosie's bowl, and then Rosie told her what? Go away. Then she ate out of Bella's bowl, and what did Bella say? go away and then the poor puppy started doing what crying and crying so then they shared and gave the puppy some some food okay the name of this story is called a hungry puppy was that a good title for this story why do you think so very good because the puppy was hungry and he was he was eating everyone's food in the story so i think he was a very hungry puppy okay how do you think that the puppy felt at the end of the story Yes, good, happy, and full, okay, because he ate. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, today we are going to learn a new sight word. So let me get my pen. This word is came, okay? Look at the word came. All right, let's do mix it, fix it to see if you can remember how to spell the word came. All right, ready? Here we go. What letter am I missing? Good job. Letter C. All right, let's try again. 
What letter am I missing? Good job, I can't trick you, but letter M. All right, let's try it again. Aha, uh -huh. I have two letters. Which two letters am I missing? Good, M and an E. Very good. All right, get a good look at it. All right, help me write the word came. Are you ready? Go. Good. Very good. Great job, guys. All right, let's erase it. All right, today we are going to work with the pattern of ELL. -L. We're gonna work with L words, okay? L words. So the first word we're going to write is Let's see if we can sound this out. So the T makes a sound t. Then we have E-L-L, -L, this is L. This word is t, L, tell, okay? My next word that we're gonna write, we're gonna put a B in front. And this word is B, L. Put it together, bell, very good. All right, the next word, W, E, L, L, ready? W, L, well, very good. All right, now we're going to write this word. Sound it out, ready? S, L, cell. All right, so now what if I put these two letters together? You know, we've been talking about blend sounds. So those two letters, so I put an S and an H together, they say shh, okay? They say shh. So let's say if we put this in front of L, what is my new word? Shell, good. So this word is cell, but this word is shell. You see the difference? This one has an SH and this one just has an S. All right, let's try another one. What if I put an S? M in front of my word, and we know that SM says SM. Can you say SM? Good, SM. And let's do ELL -L at the end. And what is my new word? All right, put it together. SMEL, SMEL. Very good. All right, and then the last word, we're going to do SP, and SP says SP. Say SP. Good. All right, we're gonna add E-L-L -L to the end. This word is spell, spell, okay? We can spell our words. All right, so let's look back at our pattern. We had to put L, E-L-L -L at the end of every word. So you see the pattern here? All right, so let's go back and read these words. I want you to repeat after me, you ready? These are our L words today. Tell, bell, well. Cell, shell, good job. Smell, good. Spell, good job. All right, guys, you can pause the video. You can practice reading these one more time just to practice reading these words with the L's, L words. All right, great job today, guys, and I'll see you next time.